As the money rolls in, Parker begins filming The Birth of Innocence with a small production crew in 2002. In his letters to investors, he uses seductive language to talk about the magic of filmmaking. Remember, he is a storyteller. The letters to the investors would start off saying, if everything's going great, uh, we're getting there. In June 2004, Parker writes, there is a grace, a power, and a momentum behind the project that is unmistakable and a joy to experience. It was sort of like, yes, the power is there, you know, it's happening. There's a force behind us, and we're all being moved along by this force that's going to make this such a wonderful movie, and we're capturing the magic, and we're getting it on film. Flowery as his language is, to investors, the halo effect seems real because they're getting paid and the 15% returns are steady. And soon, word spreads beyond Mac's fan base of farmers. There was a former mayor. There was a judge's wife. There were lawyers who invested in this. Mac called me one year in 2002, and I said I was <laughs> interested. But there were architects. There were all sorts of people. I would sometimes raise as much as $100,000 or $150,000 a week 